for the benefit of everybody else, what, what do you think are the indicators? How do you identify that a, a child is uh, dyslexic? If we start with the dyslexia, um, obviously the, the main indicators are the child battles to read, battles to spell, um, and, and write, you know, sort of, um, so I, I don't know how, how, how detailed or where do you want me to go, you know, sort of. Just try and, and go as detailed as you can. As detailed yeah, as I can. Yeah. As I said, the grade one and two, you manage to get through. Grade three is where the problems man, seem to manifest themselves. We're spending two years teaching children words and um, to memorize words. And then what happens in grade three is, and the reading vocabulary to get through those first two years is about 500 words. A child of average intelligence is, intelligence is memorizing them. And remember that they're looking, they, it, to them it's a picture or a hieroglyphic. It's not a word. We're calling them words, but they're just memorizing shapes and things like that. So they get through that, they get through the reading scheme. And that's why many of these children are able to do it, because even if they don't do the whole 500 words, they, they, they do enough to get through a number of books. Of course, when you get into grade three, the reading vocabulary increases to about 2,500 words. Now, the t you can't memorize 2,500 words. So those children who are not dyslexic or um, seem to pick up you know, sort of the ability to read quite quickly, those who are, that's when the problems manifest themselves. And mm. it's mm. from the grade three that... Mm. Mm. Uh, let's get to, to um, the effects to the child in the classroom of being dyslexic, dyslexic or ADD. How does it manifest itself and what does it do to them? Firstly, they, um, the, the lack of ability to read means that they, they do things at a much slower pace. A child who's not dyslexic will read a passage or, or whatever they ask to read in a, in a period of time. Somebody who's dyslexic takes a great deal longer to, to do that. That goes with um, writing. The child who's not dyslexic will, dyslexic will write a page very quickly. The child who's dyslexic sometimes won't, you know, sort of it's easier not even to write the date than to even start. Um, uh, and, and they they tend to lose focus easily. Well, that's concentration. That's, that's the dyslexia aspect. Mm. The ADD aspect is, of course, what is ADD? It's it. You're, if you're ADD, you lack concentration. So therefore, now you um, the the teacher stands up in front of the class, and. Uh, um, can prepare a beautiful lesson. They can deliver it beautifully. But if your concentration span is only one or two minutes and it comes in and out, the, the poor ADD child sits there and the teacher's talking. The child looks as though they're listening, but of course the mind's going in and out. And at the end of the lesson, they've heard only a, a small percentage of what the teacher's been saying. And then the teacher says, well, right, now do, do this exercise. And of course, the, the child hasn't got the ability to do it because they haven't been listening. The, what's the effect on the pupils? Well, they, what we found is that there's generally two, two categories. Of, of children react in, in different ways to it. Many of the children, if they're a soft character, they, they become very, very introverted. They become very nervous. They, they um, uh, become very reticent. They want to hide in the classroom. They, much like you, they will never put up their hand. They want to keep their heads down uh, below the parapet. They don't want to be picked on. Um, and uh, a lot of the uh, you know, sort of effort that goes into the lesson is actually trying to just keep out of the attention of the teacher. You get other children, of course, who are stronger characters, and they rebel. So you get children who... Um, are termed as be having, having behavioral problems. They, many of them actually know that they're, that they're not dumb and uh, perhaps they don't understand what's going on and they get it's out of frustration that they now 
the behavior changes in the class and they're constantly in trouble and things like that.